On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new Jack Volk conversion kit for the KVD Enforcer, which turns this marksman rifle into a two round burst. Let's go test it out. All right, now that we got this bad boy unlocked, we can test it out. And if the description of this weapon is true, not only is this a two round burst with every trigger pull, but those two shots should land relatively in the same spot. So let's go ahead and find a nice wall to shoot at. Oh yeah, it looks like both of these bullets are landing in the same spot to me. So it's got like built-in double tap. I wonder if it'll stay like that after Pack-A-Punch though. And it already sounds pretty powerful. Like it's a very loud weapon. So I want to see if it actually does some decent damage. Can I kill a tier one zombie in our one shot burst? Or our two shot burst, I should say. Looks like it. Now what about against some tier two zombies? Here's an unarmored one. Ooh, did like half his health maybe? Maybe slightly under half. What about against an armored? First shot breaks the armor and it'll take a few extra shots to take them down. The fire rate kind of seems slow though. Like I'm spamming this and it's taking a while in between each burst. And finally, how are we doing against some tier three zombies with no pack a puncher upgrades? Where's a fully armored one? Here we go. Let's throw another decoy because there's a lot of these guys around. So two shots in, three shots in, four shots in, still no breaking on the armor. Ooh, not looking good. Not pack a punch, not upgraded. But as we swim to safety, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's get this to pack three and legendary. Tier two zombie, how's this doing against you? One shot kill, not bad. And against these tier three zombies coming over to come kill me. Oh, that's not bad damage at all. Seems like I might struggle a bit with armor. Taking one shot to break it and then the next shot to kill. Oh, but it's not doing too bad. My health, on the other hand, is... Oh, and the fire rate seems much better when pack a punch. You can kind of just spam the shots. Now, I just hope that this can be a useful weapon because I don't even remember using the KVD Enforcer. I think I literally only used it for the camo grind and that was it. But so far, it seems good. Let's go test it against some bounties. All right, Mimic, where are you hiding at? We gotta see how this does against you. There you are. Come on outside. So what's one shot doing? That's right to his crit point. That's a decent amount. And then if we just spam it, he's dead within seconds. And the game crashed immediately after that. Awesome. Check for update on your own time, game. Well, that's going to make getting to the unstable rift a little bit more difficult because I am fresh out of pack crystals. So we're going to have to speed run doing some contracts to get back to where we were. Oh, the reload on this is so slow. You definitely need speed cola. That feels like a necessity with this gun. I just can't believe we're like, what, eight months into this game's life cycle and we're still having crashes like this? It's ridiculous. The thing I'm most upset about is losing that scorcher. It's going to make... Finding all the obelisks and getting the unstable rifts so much more difficult. All right, I think we finally got enough for pack three. I'm going to grab this bounty on our way to the pack-a-punch machine. What are we getting? Oh, and it's an abomination. Perfect. Just the guy I'm looking for. And he's on the way to pack-a-punch. How convenient. So let's go ahead and grab pack three again. And let's see how we're doing against this guy. Oh, he's shooting the laser right off the bat. Just like we want to see. Broke the face immediately. The damage on this isn't looking bad so far. This reload is really holding it back. But we're going to have to deal with it for this fight. Okay, we got another face broken. That's two faces broken extremely quick. But his health bar is still like not even at half. It's always weird when that happens. It feels like I'm messing the abomination up. But the health still stays pretty high. Oh, here we go. We get to drain it now. We should... Oh, we should have been able to kill him there. Get run out of ammo. Open back up for me. Oh, he's so close to death. Can you get through here? Or are you too wide? Oh, we might be able to take him out right here. Let's go. This gun is actually pretty decent so far. It has not been bad at all. Well, besides the reload, but damage wise, it can hang with the rest of them. Now let's pick up speed cola and the rest of our perks. And how much has the reload speed improved? Let's fire a shot. Quick reload on it. Way faster. So much better than before. So if you don't got speed cola, you're going to get yourself killed with this gun. It's still kind of slow with speed cola, but any sort of improvement to it is is very welcome. But now that we've seen the reload, let's go ahead and throw Maggle holding on. And I'm throwing on our dead wire detonators just because I can. And let's try to build up as much money as we can so we can bring in a whole backpack worth of self revives once we go into that unstable rift. Oh, somebody already opened one up. Good. Go take it and get out of here. That's less people to try to take mine later. But it looks like our max ammo for this is 440. 
which isn't an insane amount of ammo, but for a marksman rifle, I think it's pretty decent, especially since this isn't fully automatic. I don't think I'll be running through the ammo as fast, but we got to remember that we are shooting two bullets every time we pull the trigger. So ammo still might become an issue with it. Actually, is it still only firing two bullets after pack a punch? Looks like it. It'd be sweet if it changed to like a eight round burst or something, just made it go insane. But the damage seems pretty good still, so I don't need it. But I feel like we've been missing out on weapons that have like insane pack-a-punch abilities. They haven't really been adding any new ones in recently. And we got a pretty good amount of zombies right here. There's no better time than now to test this against a horde of zombies. How are we holding up? Seems like as long as we're aiming for the head, we can take them on. And if we're not backing into anything, it does get a little close, but... I think with Deadshot on controller, you'll just be snapping the heads and taking them out easily. All right, let's start going on the hunt for those obelisks. Oh, right, here's one. We need dead wire for this. Let's toss that on and start it up. And that's one done. Two to go. Here's another one that needs cryo. There we go. Oh, wait a second. Is this a storm caller? I always just assume he's going to be dead before I can get to him. But since we got him right here, might as well introduce him to our new aftermarket part. How's this doing against you? Go ahead and stay still so I can break that mass. We'll stop you from healing. Oh, this is fully automatic. You can just hold down on the trigger. I always find this out way too late. That actually makes it so much better. But well, we got him pretty close to half health already. Let's just keep laying down on him. Broke his posture, but he hit me with a lightning strike. No healing for you. And he should be dead right about... Hold on. One second. Quick little repair. Quick little decoy. And where'd he go? Come back here. And... Now he's dead. It was a good try though, buddy. Surprised you were even alive this late into the game. And even if he wasn't, we could still fight him once we get to the unstable rift. Oh, now the storm's on its way and we still haven't found the last monolith that we need. Oh, wait. Just have to complain. There's one right here. Uh, let's move the car out of the way so I don't get broke because we're going to need this. Let's throw on brain rot. Let's start it up. Come on, let's get this done quick. And hopefully if we have enough time, I should be able to go activate the rift, run to the nearest buy station, buy as many self-revives as I can, and then accept it. There we go. Finished it. Uh, nothing we need from that. And let's try to get to this rift before somebody else does. If they steal it from me, I'm gonna be pissed. I wouldn't be that mad about it if I had a Scorcher to just go find other monoliths with, but we do not have that luxury. Looks like we made it here first. Let's use it. And we have 30 seconds to get to a buy station. And there's one right over here. Uh, let's drop these. Let's accept. And let's buy our self revives. Perfect. Flawless, actually. Entire inventory full of them. Okay, I think if I can make it through the unstable Rift with just a sledgehammer, we can do it with this. But I did use the Scorcher a lot for that, especially just to get to a spot where I can stay alive. I wonder if there's a way I can get up to there without one. Ooh, because the zombies are already kind of overwhelming me. We need to find a way to jump up there, even if we have to run through the storm for a second. I don't think we can make a jump from here to there, can we? No. Is there any way I can get up from here? Doesn't look like it. Shit. We might just have to run for our life for five minutes until the boss shows up. And then run for our life and kill it at the same time. I wonder if there's a way to go all the way under. Because you can see right through this grate here that there's no storm underneath. That'd be a crazy spot to get to. But we're somewhat handling the horde now. Until something ends up spawning behind me. Or I miss too many shots. Okay, Aether Shroud. Stay away from me. Please don't knock me, please don't knock me, please don't knock me, please don't knock me. Go to the decoy, go to the decoy, go to the decoy. Did I not throw one? I did. Damn. Feels like decoys take so long to go off. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay. I gotta remember that I do have uh, dead wire detonators. And we need to switch out these throwing knives sooner rather than later. All right, we got a molly. I'm gonna throw it right here. Maybe buy us some time. There's gotta be something we can do. Because the spot up there on that AC unit is so safe. I think I might be able to handle it with just a gun. Oh, and here comes our bounty. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Zombies, please leave me alone for a second. Can I get some shots in on them? We can, but we're not doing a whole lot. This sucks. Ooh, let's Aether Shroud. See if we can get some good damage on them. Not really, but it does give us some time to retrain the zombies. We can make our way up here. We got them close to half health. We have to dip. We have to keep switching sides. This place is ruthless. Oh, Molly, let's go. Oh, and a cashmere. Yeah, get through that, Mimic. Oh, he did. But he's not going to survive it. That's for sure. What am I getting for my reward? Uh, cluster mine. 
whatever. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, let's uh, go back to figuring out if we can parkour up here. Is there really no angle I can take? Damn, it's like just out of reach. I'm being cucked. Unless, can you stand on top of sentry guns? Let's place it right here. Let's try to stand on it. And can we make that jump? Nope. I had the right idea though. We might be able to do something. Maybe I just missed the jump. Damn. It's that little lip there that's stopping me. I will try this entire game. I'm going to hyper fixate on that. So I can get up there. It's going to be smooth sailing until eventually I get overran and forced to leave that spot and then have to do some crazy jump to get back. I guess we can just test out this one for now. Maybe this is relatively the same. Nope, nope, nope. The zombies can swarm me way faster. But it is pretty good for getting them all in one spot. Maybe if I can set the sentry gun up right here, I'd be able to do it. Damn, and our gas mask has already been eight through. We haven't even really been in the gas too much. Our sentry gun's gone. We just gotta hope we get another one as a reward so we can keep testing any parkour spots. And here comes our bounty. What's going on, Mangler? Can I get some good shots in on you? Not really. He's really eating this damage. And we need a cashmere now. Don't fall into the grate, please. Thank you. I think we got his helmet broke. So now let's try to lead him up the stairs. We're going to get knocked here. We have to take one. That's fine. So far, we're just averaging one down around. I need to take out enough of these guys to get our aether shroud back. There we go. Let's use it now. Zombies, get the hell out of my way. And we got to pile on as much damage as we can. Oh, uh, it's cluster mine time. Go off, go off, go off. Oh, I don't think it's going to help still. Oh, it did. We made it through. Barely. Oh, no, we didn't. All right, so much for just averaging one down around. Oh, here comes another one. Damn, this is getting rough. We need to figure out a strat now because we cannot afford to keep going down like this. It's taking us way too long to kill this guy. And he's out of the map now. What are you doing? Get back here. Another down. And our nade went through the grate. We are not in a good spot at all. We can get up close and personal with them. Holy shit, is he tanky. Oh, and this is a really bad spot again. He's got to take a few shots and run. I feel like that's our only way we're ending this round. This is the toughest this has ever been. Thermite, help me. Ooh, I have no idea how I made it through that. And do I even have enough time to throw this? We're going to have to find out. There, keep all the zombies away for a minute. Mimic, I really need you to die. And that's just me and you, Mangler. For now. Oh, it already blew up. I'm down again. Fuck. I don't even know if we can make it to the fifth phase. I'm hoping it's just this Mangler that's holding us up and we'll be able to get through all the other elites. But this has been really tough so far. And it's going to suck to lose two full operators worth of stuff today. Come on, just die. Please. This has got to be it right here. We got him. Holy shit. That took way too long. Mimic, please don't fuck me up during this downtime. All right, what do we get for that? Brain rot could be very useful. I might just have to use it. We have four self-revives left. That is a far cry from what we came in here with. And just to add to the difficulty, my office is getting hotter by the second. I am sweating. Oh, great. Now we're getting HVT Mimic spawning in that aren't even our final boss. Oh, shit in my ass, dude. Oh, I can't even train around to wait out the time. I'm getting slapped. I feel like just this bottom area is just way too hard to stay in. But there's nowhere for me to go if they're blocking the stairs. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lanta. That's another one. It's always right here. This has got to be the hardest thing I've tried to complete in this game. This is just outrageous. Oh, we're down to our last self-revive. And we still have two phases to go. I don't know if we can complete it. It'll be a miracle if we get through it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Well, there goes our last self-revive. Unless we can somehow get one from a reward. But those seem to be pretty rare. Oh, we got our boss. Might as well use our tombstone. Where are we getting from it? Oh, full power? Honestly, could have been worse. Could have been bonus points. What's up, Stormcaller? How are you doing this fine evening? You here to get your revenge on me? So I would not blame you. And where are you even at? He's just over here, kicking around inside. Can we at least get his mask broken? We can't really do dick all to him. Stim! Go! Holy shit! 
Is there really no lethals on the ground anywhere? We're just making a bad situation worse. We can Aether Shroud though. Maybe we can get some damage on him. I think he's been healing off me this whole time. Oh, yep. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, shit. I think this might be it. Wait a second. If I can just get around these guys, maybe not. Oh! We're doing it. Oh, he keeps fully healing. This is going to be impossible. Especially that we have 17 minutes left. We have to kill each boss basically within the minute they show up. Oh, uh, this is it. No, it's not. I powered through. This feels like that, that final mission from Halo Reach. Where your only objective is survive. And that shit is not happening. It's gonna Aether Shroud. Maybe we can actually pull this off. Never mind. He keeps flying out of the map whenever I do it. What an asshole. Come on, monkey bomb. Save me. No. Holy shit. Now's our time to do any damage. Put nade and an Aether Shroud. Where are you hiding? We got him less than half health. If we can do anything this game, I hope it's just take him out. Stun, go off! No! Oh, I guess we can't do anything. Fuck, dude. I was feeling it. I thought we had him. And if we could have got a self-revive from that reward, maybe things would have went differently. Probably not, but I like to keep the hope alive. You're an asshole. You know that? Damn. Unfortunate. Things could have gone so much differently had I had that Scorcher. But the game's working against me. But overall, despite our unfortunate death, I still think this is a pretty good gun. I don't think it's like super overpowered or one of like the best weapons in the game. But it does some pretty decent damage and can hold its own up in tier 3 and above. Well, somewhat above. I, I think the Unstable Rift is just so much crazier than anything else like any other dark aether that there's very few weapons that can survive it without the little help from a scorcher but the aftermarket part definitely makes the kvd enforcer so much better than the normal version of it the two round burst with minimal recoil and it getting full automatic while pack a bunch not a bad weapon can definitely deal some decent damage but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later